all this filament, an empty printer, let's print something. It's Filament Friday. This week's Filament Friday project was suggested and designed by subscriber Austin C. It's the 3D print classic design, ball and a box, except this one has square holes instead of round. Now this print turned out to be more of a challenge than I'd hoped. I actually printed it actual size and it shifted the bottom of the ball outside the box. And it did this three times. <laughs> I don't know how it did it, but here's another one with the ball split and the balls just all melted. And the box came out good. And then the other ones I just stopped it. I just stopped the box and said enough. So what I finally figured out is that the bottom of the ball right here where it should be touching the bottom was not gripping to the bed good enough. It was actually designed I think to be offset a little bit and I didn't print with support so there was nothing there to grab it or hold it so eventually as this head went around printing this it got too hot it was melting the plastic and it actually stuck to the head to the extruder head and as the extruder then came around and did the sides it pushed the ball to the outside I mean it, it, three times it did that it, it's really amazing I couldn't have designed it to do that, but that's that's what happened. So, so what I decided to do is print it bigger. So I'm going to take this design, but I'm going to expand it like 200%, and then print it and see if. And then I'm going to print with supports. So the bridging, I don't get the little bit of bridging that I have here. You know, the sagging plastic, and that way the ball will be supported underneath. And this is pretty small to clean. If I got to clean with supports, I don't want to be cleaning something that small. So if I make it bigger, I figure 200% should make it, you know, about that big in my hand. So that's what I'm going to do. So I imported the .stl file from Thingiverse right into my XYZWare. Then I went over to the resize icon, clicked on it, and I slid the slider to get to 200%. Now I couldn't get exactly 200%. I probably should have just used the up and down arrows, but 196 was close enough. So then I clicked export to set up the slicing. So I chose a 10% fill density, a 0.3 layer height, standard shells, standard speeds, and low density for the support. Then I clicked on the supports checkbox and clicked export, and the slicing began. And when the slicing was done, this was the result. It showed the supports, everything looked good, nothing shifted, so I was ready to send it to my printer. But first I wanted to verify. 0.3 layer height, low density, and it was going to take just under 3 hours to print this thing, and just under 16 meters of plastic. So I clicked on the print button and sent it to my printer. So now let's see how this print turned out. Looks pretty good. And it's got a lot of support to remove, but the ball inside looks nice and round. It's definitely holding on the bottom. And then I got all the support on the side to break away, but it looks like it formed around the ball. So hopefully this breaks away pretty easy. Now what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use some pliers needle nose pliers here and pull these out and it just tears away it's, it's actually pretty easy support to break away and I put it at the finest setting so that makes it easier but it's only really touching at the top and bottom so it's and then of course you know, a little bit on the sides but it's breaking away pretty easy So why don't I break away the rest of this and then I'll show you how it looks. I was able to clean it up pretty good between the needle nose pliers, an X-Acto knife for slicing, 
and then finishing off with the finishing tool with the pivoting head. I was able to get in there and clean this up pretty good. There's still a few little stragglers, maybe a little sanding, and the ball itself still has like a rough spot on it. Hold that up. I'll show this in a close-up. And that just looks like it just didn't uh, melt properly. The top of the ball is really, really good. And this is a 0.3 layer height. But the, the bottom of the ball here, just not that good. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. So when you set it like that, it looks pretty good until you pick it up and see those the pits in the ball. And it's only really on one side. The other side, it's not quite as good as the top, but it's a lot better than than the other side. So there's there's definitely some pitting. The box itself looks really good. It's pretty smooth. Because of the supports, there's no sagging. So overall, this this came out pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with the way the the overall print went except for that melting at the bottom. So here's a close-up view of the box or ball in the box. I know a lot of people like to see this up close and how my prints turn out. And if you look you can see the ball and the box look really good until you tip it up. And that's when you see the bad part of the ball on the bottom. You can see that pitting but mainly only on one side. The other side looks pretty good. So it's just the extruder getting too hot down there at that level, which is about the same level as the bottom of the box. So there you have it. That's Filament Friday for this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you have an idea for a future Filament Friday, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try to get to it. I got a list of them. Some of them I can print. Some of them are just going to be huge prints. It'll take a long time. And those tend to get shoved to the end of the list. Maybe I'll make a video out of those at some point. But it needs to be something, it doesn't have to be super simple, but it has to have some kind of challenge, but also something I could probably print in a day. So that's what I'm looking for. And if you want to support this channel, you like Filament Friday, please check out my Patreon page. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. So that's it. I'll see you next time.